Oh, it's a beautiful day. Spring is well and truly springing. Warm too. We're in on the old Volvo engine project. Project, fun. Made up these blocks for the, for the rear engine mounts. You see that one in position, clamped on, it's not welded yet, but made up two of these, one for each side. While we're on, on the topic of welding, I invested <laughs> in this new welding mask. Now, you may have noticed that my welding technology is, is rather old fashioned, shall we say. And, uh, you know, back in late 70s, about 1980 maybe, I did a, a one week long welding course. Um, so my welding knowledge mainly stems from back then, and technology progresses a bit, doesn't it? And I, I'd seen these on, on YouTube and whatever, and then our local DIY store was selling them. So Kerry and I went over, we had a look together, two different models they had. One was about twice the price of the other one. I had a good look at them, decided to choose the cheaper of the two. It's a brilliant thing. Let me show you. Now, if you know anything about welding, you'll know all about these, but um, it's new to me. Uh, LCD welding mask, they automatically go dark. So, you know, with the old fashioned welding mask that I'm used to, you have to sort of hold it aside, look where you're going to strike your arc, and then before you strike, you put your mask in front and sort of try not to remove your hands. You know? These things, and excuse me if I'm teaching my grandmother to suck eggs here, but these things, you can see through them perfectly well, and as soon as you strike the arc, they go dark in 0 0.0003 of a second. Uh, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, that's a, a 30, 30 thousandths of a second, is it? No, three, three hundred thousandths of a second, is it? Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. Three ten thousandths of a second. It's supposed to go dark in. Three and a half. Three and a half, ten thousandths of a second. What does it say? I don't know. Anyhow, something like that. Quick. It goes dark quite quickly. We can, that we can say. And it's brilliant. It's really brilliant. You can see what you're doing. You strike your arc looking at what you're doing instead of the old striking your arc blind thing. And, and you can watch your world. It's not quite as dark as the standard one that I'm used to. So you can see the world really well. But it's dark enough to not, you know, dazzle you. Very, very good. And because it's, you've got two hands free, as opposed to one that's holding the, one that's holding the, the, the screen, you know, shield. So, fantastic thing. I think it was about 30 something euro, wasn't it, Gary? Yeah. He's nodding. So, good deal. Comes with a couple of spare screens. I'll keep it in the box, so just to try and stop scratching it. I should put it back in. A wonderful thing. I recommend.
Ja, jag har stackat sig. Det är för det stark. Hey. Pretty good, eh? Woo. So, what did you think of the mask, Kerry? The mask is pretty good. It gets dark very fast and then after you're done, lights back up. So, so you can see what you're doing? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, very good. The welding easy? Yes, it is pretty easy. Yeah, basic stick welding. It's a yeah. little bit of practice, especially with thick metal. It's, it's, it's not hard, is it? It's pretty smooth, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Well done. In the heads, part two, been doing a lot of work in the heads this week. Um, and basically the construction is almost finished. The only things that are missing are two, two side pieces to come down for this curious under, under sink wash basin cupboard. But the rest of it's done. So we've got the, the cupboard in with two shelves under the workbench. But that almost finished. Around this side, we've got the shelf in position, and above the worktop, the, the medicine cupboard. Clearly, all lacking doors, and the shelf won't have a door. At least, I don't think so. Doors to come there, doors to come there, door to come in, or a drop in board to come there. Um, one of those, one of my infamous, famous, not infamous, just famous. Actually, it's not even that, is it? One of my Scott style drop in boards. Now, um, I was going to say a couple of words about my construction technique for galley cupboards and all of this and, and that technique is pretty low tech, that's what it boils down to. Obviously, you know, a person could build beautiful furniture um, all properly and fit it in position. I tend to go for, for sort of fast but functional, so um, as you see, as you see now, I use screws I glue and screw quite a lot together. Um, pieces tend to be butted with perhaps a reinforcing bit behind if need be. Uh, and the thinking is that, that obviously the worktops are all going to be covered in formica, so any screws that go down through the worktop are not an issue, it'll be covered. The fronts I'm going to paint. So we're going to have a colour scheme in here. Below the worktop will be grey, and above the worktops will be the, the pearl white that I've got elsewhere. Uh, same idea in the galley, we carried through that colour scheme, grey for the cabinets, I did talk about staining them didn't I, but I've decided to paint them grey and white above. So that means that you know if, if I use any screws through the fascia it's not an issue because I've put a bit of filler over them, the screw heads are filled over, how it's painted you won't see them. So that enables a very very simple construction technique which is you know strong functional and, and will look fine it's not a piece of polished wood antique furniture but functional boat furniture it is that, that goes together quite quickly and uh you know, simply really yeah that's my thoughts on that
That's one. Yeah, ready. That's all right? Yeah, it's good. Just as long as it heads all the way in, it's fine. Okay. 
service. Yeah. I'll try it. This is a hole for the vent pipe for the toilet. Come up through there, and come up. And onto that. There you go. What's that? Bathroom, medicine cabinet, there's my shadow in it. That's just to give you an idea of where we are. There's a door, clearly. Progress. Very short through that, it'll fall on the floor. Alright guys, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. She'll get on with some work. Um, stay healthy in these curious times. Such as the